lots of best life and beyond. As you can see, I'm here at Disneyland. The park just opened a few minutes ago and I decided to come here to have some fun today. Uh, oftentimes though, I am asked, what are some healthy options I can eat while I'm at Disneyland? Or what are some tips and tricks you do when you're trying to stay on your diet and eat healthy here at the parks? So I packed a lunch, which I will dive into and show you. Um, but then I'll also go around the park and actually show you things that if you didn't happen to bring a lunch um, or breakfast that you could um, have while you're here. So as I said, the best thing you can do is actually pack your own lunch. You're allowed to bring food and drinks into Disneyland. Um, they have certain picnic areas or you could do like I do and I picnic myself around the park. Uh, I will go to Tom Sawyer Island. Um, sometimes I'll just sit in the hub or even up here at the train station and look out over the park while I eat my lunch. Here it is, here's my packed lunch. The first big tip after I would say packing yourself a lunch and some breakfast and snacks um, would be to make sure that you pack more than you think you're gonna need. So I packed probably enough food to last me through like at least eight hours, maybe even more. I actually eat breakfast before I get into the park, but fear not, I will still show you some breakfast options that are healthier that you can get. I try to pack like shelf stable items, stuff that doesn't need to be like heated up or stuff that doesn't need to stay cold because first of all, it can get so hot here at Disneyland. And second of all, uh, you don't wanna be carrying around all of those like ice packs if you do. Uh, it's just the best thing I can recommend is just you want something that can kind of last throughout the day. So like I said, I packed enough food for like an entire day, probably like eight or 10 hours just to be on the safe side. Um, but I put it all in one of these like plastic bags. So in case I went on a water ride or something, it would all stay nice and dry. Um, I packed a couple of chips. These are the, um, I think they're like cheese it sour cream and onion crackers. I think if you're following Weight Watchers green plan, these are, I think two or three points just for 20 of those. Um, I'm going to go through this real quick. I always grab these snack packs of Oreos. There's only two in there, but that's four points. If you're on Weight Watchers, um, let's see here. I packed a peanut butter sandwich. I used PB2 packed it the night before. Um, so that's five points. I always have these in my backpack. They're the chomp, um, beef jerky sticks. They have really clean ingredients. And I believe they're only two points, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember, but I'll scan it later. First, I have my strawberries from this morning. I'll probably eat those again in a little bit when I um, finish recording this. And of course, I brought a plastic spoon and some no sugar added applesauce to have. Um, again, this stuff will keep me full for, you know, the entire day. It's definitely just a good thing to have to be prepared and to help you kind of stick with your diet. Um, then you can kind of splurge on some other things if you really wanted to. And I'll show you some things that I tend to splurge on when we get into the park and going in there to have fun. The omnibus pulling up. I'm gonna see if I can actually get a seat on that as I climb down these stairs so quickly. Let's see, right here it is, the best seat in the house. Okay, so if you happen to forget to eat breakfast at home and you're looking for some healthier options over here on Main Street at the Market House, it's basically a little Starbucks. And in there, there is a really good spinach and feta wrap. Um, I'm gonna go show you what that looks like. But first, I wanted to show you the cart next to the market house has a lot of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, obviously, <laughs> not the Lay's chips, but these fruit crisps are great. They're actually super low calorie, and I believe they come with three in a pack. Um, and it's actually like freeze-dried fresh fruit. We also have a um, little snack pack of cuties, which is great. Now, keep in mind, this will be more expensive. Uh, we have some fresh apples and bananas. And then over here, you'll find these throughout the park. They are pickles. These are really low calorie. 
Um, good thing to have, and I think they taste better at Disneyland than they do anywhere else. Um, and then you also have some applesauce that you can get on the go. Um, might want to stay away from these because they have a lot of sugar. Um, and then we have some Baby Bell cheese. Got some hummus packs here. Here's another thing I love to get if I forget fruit or it's really hot in the summer is I love the mango. We even have fresh apple slices. You don't have to have the caramel that comes with it, even though that's probably really hard to resist. There's a bag of grapes. And my absolute favorite thing to get is the pineapple sphere. And sometimes the, I think if you ask them, do you still have tahine to give? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you can get tahine and put it on there and just pretend it's a Dole Whip. Okay, now we will journey into Market House. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a little Starbucks and one of the healthier options, especially if you're following Weight Watchers, I believe this is around seven points, but it's the spinach, egg, and feta wrap. They also do have these egg bites, which I hear are a healthier option. I'm just not a fan of them. So it just depends on what you actually prefer. Of course, you could always get a pound cake too and just have half of it. Inside of the Candy Palace is a good thing I wanna show you, but it is some lollipops that are sugar-free. They're usually down here in the corner. You'll see these scattered throughout the park, these little bundles of lollipops. But the good part about these is that they are sugar-free. So they're like virtually, let's see, 80 calories. That is not bad. And I have to say, even if you don't really care for sugar-free things, sometimes I think these actually taste better than the ones that are not sugar-free. So definitely something to try. I believe they're like five to six bucks too. So you get a bunch of them and I keep these in my backpack just for when I'm craving something sweet. And look at, they're even Mickey. That makes them even better. Another thing that's available over in the Candy Palace is these uh, Chippendale Snack Company Mickey Puffy Cheese Crackers. They're basically like puffed Cheez-Its. I brought them over here so you can see them better in the light. It was pretty dark over there, but you get a whole container of these. If you're on Weight Watchers, this whole thing is four points, which is great. And these are actually really good. And how can you resist anything Mickey shaped? They're a little bit higher in points, but if you're craving something sweet and you want to treat yourself, um, if you are on the green plan and you're following Weight Watchers, this entire thing is 13 Weight Watchers points. Um, you could have half of it, um, and then again, you have to round up, so it would be seven. But it's a good thing to have, nice and sweet, and it really hits the spot. This is one of the things Dylan from Theme Park Obsession, he absolutely loves the cotton candy here, and they have other flavors. I think even if we peek over there, there's some more flavors over there and there are some more over by the exit of the Candy Palace, right over there. Making our way over to Adventureland, I am going to show you a place that I often get some snacks if I'm pretty hungry, um, or you can actually do lunch here probably more lunch and dinner, um, but it is actually the Bengal barbecue. They have so many healthy options. You can get a vegetable skewer. Um, you could actually just get what they have is like the banyan beef. You can do spicy. There's one that's uh, teriyaki. One that I love a ton is the bacon wrapped asparagus. It's so good, especially if you squeeze some lemon on there. The vegetable skewer is always a must do. And a way to cut the calories down with this is to ask for the sauce on the side so you can just dip it in. And it's a much healthier option to do, but um, definitely something to check out if you're here in Adventureland over at the Bengal Barbecue. Like I said about the fruit carts and food stands all around the park, there's one here also in Adventureland. Uh, this one I found these uh, fresh vegetables and some ranch, I think it is. Yeah, light ranch. So that's a good little healthy option to have. You can also get some baked Lay's if you want some chips. Say you even just packed a sandwich and you wanted some chips. Obviously these are higher calorie, but uh, the baked 
are a great option to stay on track. Okay, so after walking past Bengal Barbecue, just smelling those skewers, I am now hungry. So I'm going to go find a place in the park and I'm gonna go and sit and eat some of my lunch or at least some of my snacks. I've been up since about like five or six, so it makes sense that I'm pretty hungry right now. So I'm gonna have some of my lunch over here. There's a little bit of shade on this table back over here by Small World. This is what I'm talking about where I'm saying you can just picnic in the park and have plenty of places to eat when you bring your own food. So over here in Tomorrowland, this is the Galactic Grill. And over here there is a salad that I often get and I just get the dressing on the side. Actually, I think it always comes on the side, but it is called the Chopped Salad. And there it is. It's a really good salad, super filling and delicious. I love it. You could also get one of those kids meals. It's a smaller portion, so that way you kind of save calories and points there. But uh, yeah, so over here is a really good option. There it is again, the old chopped salad. While I was venturing through Tomorrowland, I found some more fruits and vegetable options over at the fruit and vegetable stand. This was one. I found a big bunch of crispy cucumbers to crunch on with some lime. And I think you could also get some tahini for these if you wanted to. And we found a nice cut up orange right there too. It's a great option and it's ice cold. So it's probably just delicious. There's also this mixed fruit cup with grapes and honeydew, cantaloupe. Yum, yum. Oh, and some orange slices on top. And if you get really hungry, you could always go to the planners in Tomorrowland because rumor has it, and I mean, it appears to be so, that everything in Tomorrowland is edible. I don't know about those back there, though. And in Galaxy's Edge, we have a great place to eat at, Docking Bay 7. It's a quick service, not a sit-down restaurant, but... They have tons of healthy options. One of my favorite things to get is the Volusian hummus garden spread. Um, it's just a lot lighter. It's really just a bunch of hummus, some plant-based meatballs, uh, cucumber. You don't even have to eat the pita. They also have a salad where you could get the ranch on the side. I also recommend the kids meals because they are just a smaller amount. Um, they have a really nice uh, black bean hummus vegetable platter that is just delicious as well. In Fantasyland at the Red Rose Tavern, another lunch and dinner item that I try to get often is the Lumiere chicken sandwich, which is really good. Um, even if you take off one slice of the bread, it saves you a lot of calories there. Okay, that about wraps it up here for the day, it's time to go home. And then eventually we will head over to DCA and do some healthy foods over there and show you some of the places I like to eat when I'm over in Disney California Adventure. So if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. If you wanna support Best Life and Beyond, you can become one of our Patreon members. I'll link all that information on how to do so in the description box below. Uh, in the words of Spence, bye-bye everybody.